Okay, I'd like to introduce us to CCAT Air, and uh, the way CCAT Air works is it's a, it's a uh, add-on software to your Serona system uh, to allow us to um, uh, do a segmentation of the patient's airway and to also allow us to digitally integrate CEREC data and order a digital uh, sleep appliance. Uh, so to activate the CCAT Air software um, within, your, within your Sedexis 4, you'll go over to Tools, and you'll see the button over here for CCAT Suite. So we'll simply click CCAT Suite and this will launch uh, the CCAT Air software. Now, um, right now, we, uh, since we don't have the official release, it's going to say this is demonstration only, uh, but that pop-up won't show up in the future. Uh, so here we are, we have our CCAT suite launching. Uh, the CCAT suite at this time is for a function, which is the jaw tracking and TMD software, and for CCAT air, which is the airway segmentation, which is what we'll be doing here. Now, uh, the important part for CCAT Air is technically uh, it, it pulls data from all the machines from XG3D, from Orthofos and Galileos, uh, but obviously you have to have the volume size large enough uh, to allow us to bring in uh, the airway. And here we can see that we definitely have enough of the volume here. We can clearly see the airway. And uh, one of the things I always like to point out to, to those of you, even if you don't have the air software, we can quickly look at this. I can quickly look at this, for example, and I can already see that uh, there is an airway constriction. So right now what I'm looking at is I'm going to outline mentally. This is mentally, okay? I'm outlining the airway, okay? So we can see that we have a constriction right here, okay? And the other thing I like to outline just to show you guys so that we know what it is that we're discussing with our patients is this is the patient's tongue, okay? So we can see how large the tongue is. And so tongue space uh, makes a large difference in how well um, the airway responds. So in other words, are the teeth retracted from uh, premolar extractions, uh, from a narrow arch, a vaulted palate? Um, uh, this right here will be the hard palate, the roof of the mouth, the part of the maxilla. And then right here, we can see the soft palate and uvula. Okay. So just to kind of give you anatomically uh, what we're looking at, obviously you can see the mandible down here, the teeth right here and right here. Uh, but I can clearly see, I can already have a prediction that this one is going to show us that we definitely have some levels of constriction here. So let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> activate the uh, CCAT Air software. We click Air versus Function. Here you can see Function is turned on. Here we can see Air is turned on. We'll go to the Analyze button. And then right here, we'll have the segment, the airway. This is to add the distance, and this is to um, measurement. But we're gonna go to the segment, the airway, and now it's gonna open up the software. And um, <clears throat> one of the things you wanna do is we want to be centered in the airway. So I'll double click here, and I'll kinda get myself relatively close uh, to being centered in the airway. And we wanna have bony reference points here, okay? So now what I will do is I'll simply double click on the end of the hard palate here and double click on a vertebrae there and I kind of want to remember which vertebrae I use so that when we do comparisons we'll be comparing the same volumetric size of the airway and now the software will go ahead and auto segment the airway in a future video we'll show you how to uh, uh, adjust the segmentation in other words if it misses part of it or if it adds too much uh, because of uh, any any uh, issues there uh, I'll show you how to do that as well uh, then we simply click OK and now we can see our airway now when we bring it in it shows you just the airway and here we can see that this airway and this white line right, right here represents the this white line right here represents the thinnest point of the airway. And what we know is that the thinnest point of this airway is six millimeters deep and 14 millimeters in width, okay? Now, remember also, keep in mind that this patient was scanned with a bite stick, okay? 
So we know that this patient has already been opened up and postured forward a little bit. So in real life, when the patient has their teeth together in occlusion position, we'll see that the airway is actually smaller. And then when our patient is laying down, uh, the tongue and everything will drift backwards. And we can see that this patient probably has a pretty uh, reasonable size collapsed airway and certainly is a very high likelihood. Again, we cannot diagnose, has a high likelihood that this patient has uh, sleep apnea. Now we'll come over here and uh, we can uh, also allow us to see the airway with uh, the 3D head on there as well. So this is uh, good to be able to show the patient. Obviously we can rotate this through and see how it looks. We can, um, uh, the other nice thing also is that we can come over here and we can volumetrically slice it. So a cool thing right you could do here is certainly we could um, go up and down and we can show the airway we can walk the patient through the airway as we're going down and we can really see anatomically some of the constrictions that we're seeing in the airway there so again just an introduction into how to create the segmentation uh, some of the various things that we can do with the segmentation we can show just the airway if we would like we can show the airway with uh, a bone uh, a model. We can show the airway with the bone and the soft tissue. We can show the airway with just a uh, flat image of the entire everything or we can show the airway with just the soft tissue landmarks here as well. So just to give you an idea again of what is possible here. Uh, thank you and I hope you found this video helpful.